We're back now with the controversy over stem cell clinics. The dangers of unapproved stem cell therapy, the Food and Drug Administration issuing a warning. If the FDA is saying there's no evidence that they're safe and effective, what are they doing about it? Stem cells have the potential to turn into any kind of cell, and in theory, they could repair damaged cells. So scientists tell us that we're years away from realizing that dream. I did stem cells in Colombia with bio accelerator. Man, my neck was 100%, man. I wrestled my whole life. Why is this not legal here? Our industry is being dramatically slowed down by lobbyists that are making hundreds of millions of dollars to uh, lobby against regenerative medicine. Is there a threat? It is a threat. We will dent the pipeline of pharmaceutical companies. This is so important, especially in, you know, I know you're in Colombia and, and, and the American medical system seems very much to be pharmaceuticals, medicals, but not actually doing preventive medicine and making people healthy. You know, if someone has diabetes, they're not going to ask them about their diet. They're not going to. It's crazy. That should be the first thing that they ask. First thing, right. They're going to they're gonna put them on insulin, you know, it's, uh, and, and give them medication instead of just saying, hey, how about make some lifestyle changes? We have to start getting education on diet and nutrition and exercise and all the things in lifestyle that are going to be keeping you healthy. But I, I never got a class in nutrition. I don't remember going through 15 years in med school and no one taught me uh, what should I recommend a patient to eat. Yeah, they, they teach medicine in the way that only helps their pipeline. But this is this is also one of the reasons that I opened up the clinic here, um, because the, the system here is not corrupted or compromised by the pharmaceutical insurance. and insurance. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a very different system. One of the things I that prompted me to come down here was... Uh, I broke my neck in, in Afghanistan in 2006. Had tons of headaches almost daily for, for years and uh, nothing nothing solved it. And then I came down here, did a spinal tap. I don't know if it was the right terminology. Never had head headache. Oh, was, really? I had not oh, had that's headaches. great. Oh, I didn't remember that. That's amazing. So that was a neurological treatment. Yep. Then I did yes. tons of more orthopedic. I think you guys have done almost every joint in my body. Nice. And, I've, and I've, I didn't even realize how hurt I was until... After my treatment, I think I didn't realize how accustomed I'd become to just functioning hurt. And I could give rave on my own testimony with, with this place. But one of the things I want to ask just right off, because not everybody listening knows what stem cells are. Can you tell us what stem cells actually are? What, what, is, what is a stem cell? What does it do for the human body? Stem cells, they are the cells that we have in our body that help us uh, regenerate. All the tissues and all the cells are coming from the stem cells when they are in this naive state that then they start differentiating and becoming another cell. Think about how quickly you healed when you were a youngster. You know, you're, you're out there playing around, you sprain your ankle, you walk it off, you're probably back in the game right away. Yeah. Uh, maybe the next day, you know, but now as a 48, 49 year old, you sprain your ankle, that's a month, two, three, you know, who knows how long it's going to take for your stem cells to get to work. So we just take those, those most pure potent cells, but then we also scientifically manipulate those and, and multiply those by to be hundreds of times more potent. Let's Teach talk about the ethical, because that's a big question I get a lot. People confuse embryonic, uh, fetal, and from umbilical cord. Umbilical cord is the tissue that is discharged after the baby has been born. Uh, and that tissue has a lot of cells and a lot of good properties that can be used. The ethical piece is, is this, is that, the, you know, that was, that's medical waste. So typically it was just thrown away. But this is an umbilical cord that has a healthy mom and a healthy baby they go home and live healthy lives together. So there's no ethical... Essentially donated it. Totally, yeah. But that that's the point is that this is not taking an umbilical cord, uh, you know, where the, the mom doesn't know about it or it's not taking aborted fetuses. Yeah. No, that's the ethical concern that people have in their mind that is not even... A, me, it's me not, too. I did... That was one of the things... I think it was one of the first things I asked you. It was, all right. Yeah. yeah. But the truth is, is that people perpetuating that lie are people that don't want regenerative medicine to succeed. So without the conspiracy, yeah. it, it, the, the, that's who's pushing it. Propaganda. It's, it's propaganda. It's, it's still in the news. It's been in the news that way for 20 years. It's not that the people in the news media are misinformed. They just are lying. 